Welcome back to the class on electrical vehicles and hybrid electrical vehicles. In this lecture, we are going to see the performance and control of a BLDC motor. So, whenever you are saying the performance means, we are going to analyze the different parameters of a BLDC motor by changing the load on a BLDC motor. The main parameters are the torque and speed. As the load on the BLDC motor increases, how the torque and speed of a BLDC motor will be increases. So, one more important parameter is the how the stator current will be changes. All those parameters we are going to see in this lecture and also the control of BLDC motor. What are the different control techniques we are using practically for the electrical vehicles as well as the traction system also. The performance analysis of a BLDC motor, we have taken the some of the assumptions before going to see the performance analysis. This is the perfect equivalent circuit of a BLDC motor. This is the voltage which is applied to the BLDC motor. This voltage is coming from the three phase inverter. This is the per phase stator resistance. This is the per phase stator inductance. This is equal to leakage inductance minus mutual inductance of a stator winding. ES is nothing but the back EMF induced in the stator winding. When the rotor is rotating, there is some amount of voltage will be induced in a stator. That is opposed to the supply voltage that is we are calling as a back EMF. This voltage will be mainly due to the rotor flux, where the rotor flux is coming from the permanent magnets which are placed on the rotor. IS is nothing but a stator current. The stator current is passing from input voltage, stator resistance, stator inductance, and back EM again written to the input voltage. So, I have taken the sum of the assumptions before going to analyze the BLDC motor. The motor is not saturated, the stator resistance in all windings are equal. Power semiconductor devices which are used in a inverters are the ideal devices, nothing but a. the voltage drop across the device we are taking as zero. Ideal losses are neglected. Now, in the above circuit, if you apply the KVL, we are getting the terminal voltage equal to the voltage drop across the resistance and the voltage drop across the inductance and ES. ES is nothing but a back EMF. In case of a BLDC motor, the back EMF in a stator winding is highly depending upon the angular velocity of a rotor where ke is nothing but a back emf constant which is highly depending upon the permanent magnets of a motor the torque developed in a bldc motor also will be depending upon the stator current only where the flux is the constant that's why the flux will be taken into consideration of this kt where kt is nothing but a torque constant of a bldc motor now the developed torque equal to load torque plus j d by dt of omega r plus b into omega r where kt is nothing but a torque constant tl is nothing but a load torque b is nothing but a viscous coefficient resistance in a steady state operation this quantity becomes a zero because there is no rate of change of speed of a bldc motor from this equation the rate of change of current will be existing in this circuit only at the time of transient operation as well as the change in a load only in a steady state operation this quantity becomes a zero so this we can write it as a vt minus e by rs equal to for the is nothing but a stator current once you know the value of stator current then you can find the torque output in bldc motor from this expression so you substitute this one we are getting the the torque output in a bldc motor kt equal to vt minus kgw by rs speed torque curve at a steady state with a constant voltage here the spelling mistake is there on the x axis we have taken the speed on the y axis we have taken the torque as the load on the bldc motor increases the speed of a motor will be decreases this is nothing but a speed torque characteristics of a bldc motor as the speed is low the torque is more suppose at the time of starting the speed of BLDC motor is very very low. It will take a high amount of current. If we allow that much of current to the BLDC motor, the stator winding of a BLDC motor will be burned. Out. So to avoid that one, during the transient operation, we are applying the less amount of voltage through the inverter. So from this graph, we are applying the variable voltage so that the stator current that is the torque in a BLDC motor we are limiting to the maximum value. Now we are going to find out the what is the transfer function of a BLDC. Motor. Already we have a voltage equation, for that voltage equation, EMF equation, nothing but a back EMF equation, torque equation, we have one more expression in terms of low torque, 
all four equations you have to take the laplace transformation by means of these four equations if you find the relation between the speed and torque and input voltage of a bldc motor we are getting this is the relation this is nothing but a transfer function of a bldc motor ls and j ls is nothing but a stator inductance j is nothing but a inertia of a motor one is the electrical delay transient operation another one is the mechanical delay transient operation stator inductance determines how quickly the armature current will be reaches the steady state value if there is a step change in a voltage but the speed of a motor is the constant j determines how quickly the speed of a motor will be reaches the steady state value if there is a step change in a terminal voltage of a bldc motor now control of bldc motor suppose if you are using a bldc motor in a electric vehicle or a hybrid electric so how much torque is required by the bldc motor to drive the vehicle on the road that will be decided by the driver by means of accelerator or brake system so the torque is the main parameter of a bldc motor so how we are going to develop this torque in a bldc motor which is required by the driver means this is the three phase inverter this is the bldc motor this is the dc supply this is nothing but a current controller and computation sequence the input for this block is the reference stator current the actual current taken by the motor the difference between the reference stator current and actual current is given to the current controller the one more input also will be taken by this block that is from the hall effect sensor which decides the what is the position of a rotor of a bldc based upon that this block will be giving a pulses to the inverter this inverter is giving a sufficient amount of voltage to the bldc motor demanded by the driver to drive the vehicle on the road now how we are going to generate this stator reference current mean this is nothing but a torque controller block it is also the pa controller the input for this one is the torque command this command will be generally generated by the driver how much torque is required for the vehicle to move on the road so from this one this block will be deriving the reference stator current that is given one input to the current controller and computation sequence in this manner the required torque will be developed by the bldc motor which is demanded by the driver in some cases the reference torque will be generated by means of a reference speed so the actual speed of a bldc motor will be sensed by the speed sensor that will be compared with a reference speed the error in the speed is given to the speed controller the speed controller may be the pa controller or fuzzy controller or neural controller which is generating a reference torque that is given to the torque controller this torque con controller will be giving a stator reference current that is given to the current controller and computation sequence again this block has a two more inputs one is the actual current taken by the inverter one more input is the, the signals which are given from the hall effect sensor to know the position of a rotor based upon this three signals this block will be giving a pulses to the three phase inverter the sufficient amount of voltage will be given to the bldc motor so that we can control both speed as well as the torque of a bldc motor sometimes the dc bus current feedback also will be taken to protect the drive and mission from the over currents see how we are going to control this inverter means to get the variable voltage means generally we are using the pwm control technique where we can control both voltage as well as the frequency of a voltage applied to the bldc motor using position information the computation sequencer causes a inverter to electronically computated acting as a mechanical computator of a conventional dc machine the computation angle associated with a brushless motor is normally set so that the motor will commutate around the peak torque angle curve considering a three phase motor connected in a delta or star the computation occurs at a electrical angle which are 30 degrees from the peak of a torque angle curve see in this manner we can control the bldc motor only based upon the torque in the same manner based upon the speed and torque also thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my youtube channel so that i am always welcome to answer
Alıyor.